Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video guys, we'll show you how to guys remove and replace front door on a vehicle. This is guys front door right here. We'll demonstrate on the driver's side, but procedure will apply to the passenger side as well. Now we'll demonstrate on that Ford Focus, but 90% of the cars will use exactly the same procedure guys. And stay with us and we'll explain what it is. Now, when you replace uh, front door, you often have guys cylinder door lock where you unlock and lock the door with the key. It's important to replace that part as well so stay with us and we'll explain how to do that too quick introduction guys every car we get at the shop we make at least 200 videos why because our mission guys is to save you as much money as we can so please guys subscribe to the channel and like the video hopefully you will find the information helpful if you want to save guys even more money on car parts and tools check out the link in the description of the video below we can save quite a bit so let me show you guys what we'll be doing here first guys I will recommend to disconnect your car battery at least one hour before you start on the door why because often guys you have side airbags or you have crash impact sensor that are part of the airbag system and you don't want to cause any damage because airbags can explode they can kill you they can kill your passengers so you have to be extremely careful guys if you're not qualified and certified do not do the repair guys i wouldn't recommend it so consider this job and this uh, video more like entertaining video than a how-to video guys because it's your responsibility now let's explain what needs to be done first we are going to remove the cylinder door lock guys okay the one right here so let us show you how to do that right here usually you will have one cap that you need to remove most modern vehicles newer vehicles will be that way remove that cap and inside guys okay you have one bolt okay i'm trying to get in here to show you with the torx either 15 20 okay let me show you most of the times they will use okay a tool like that i'm trying to focus perfect and you need to get the bolt okay right there perfect it started getting loose start unscrewing that thing while you're unscrewing one person will grab the cylinder door lock and will try to pull it out eventually it will come out once it comes out stop unscrewing okay oh almost there perfect so our cylinder door lock is out now if you want to reuse your cap okay all we have to do usually you have one clip holding it and three little ones on the sides and one big one there but ours is the same color so we'll just reuse that one later on another door next guys you need to disconnect your wiring harness let's explain how to do that you open the door and you have different designs you might need to push on top you might need to push on top and bottom like ours the sides or you may have a bolt it really depends on which design you have in our case all we have to do just push in and okay almost came out perfect you can see it has four clips two on top two on bottom we remove them now you guys have okay let me explain a few options you can remove the door with the hinges but for that purpose you have to remove the fender and in most cases you need to discon um, remove that cover on the inside to access one bolt you can remove the door without the hinges just removing one or two bolts okay let me show you quick on top and bottom or you can just disconnect the hinge guys most of the times so with just a single bolt one on bottom one on top that's what we'll be doing that will be the easiest thing to do but if you want to reuse your hinges you have to remove the door from the side bolts that are bolted on the door those are the three options that you have okay one bolt is out i recommend to have a person hold the door while you're doing that because the door may fall the, this, the way ours is designed we will have to actually go ahead and lift it up to be able to fall later to get it loose but as long as you don't lift it up it should stay in the hinges but you always have to be careful because if it starts dropping it can smash your fingers hurt your hands extremely dangerous job guys so perfect now right there guys this mechanism is the one that prevents your door from closing on its own when it's open so usually you have one or two bolts that you need to disconnect there okay 
Just getting that one loose now to get it out of the way. Perfect. It's out. Now, let me show you what we'll be doing, guys. We're going to grab the door gently, lift it up in our case. Okay, now, while it's like that, I'm going to disconnect the wiring harness, okay, which is located right there. So, let me get a small screwdriver. Okay, let me just focus quick. We need to press in here. One is out. You may have a different design, guys. It really depends on which design you have. And now, if we grab the door, guys, it's coming out just like that. Check it out. So the door is out of the car, guys, just like that. Installing it practically in reverse order. We took it apart. So hopefully, guys, the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.